Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, today we are doing a Disney recipe. So I am decked out in all of my best Disney gear to make a really tasty treat. It is the school bread from the Norway Pavilion in Epcot. Uh, so this treat is not a specifically Disney creation, although they have made it pretty popular. Um, if you've never heard of it before, if you've never had it before, it's a really great snack. It's a lightly sweetened bun. Um, that is filled with a pastry cream and then it's coated with a toasted coconut. One of my favorite things about this bread is that the main flavor is cardamom, which is one of my absolute favorite spices. Um, if you've never had cardamom before or if you're unfamiliar, it's a really nice warm spice that's used a lot in Indian cooking and things like chai, things like that to give it a nice uh, warm flavor. So the recipe that I'm using is based off of the Disney food blog recipe, which I will link in the description box. I'm modifying it just a little bit to kind of change it up to make it taste a little more, um, uh, just give it some more bold flavors. The thing that I remember most about school bread, it's a very subtle flavor. It's really just a lightly sweetened bun and I really want to give it some extra flavor. So I'm going to add in a little more cardamom to both the pastry cream and then I'm also going to add in some additional spices to the bread itself. So there's two portions to this recipe. The first is uh, a basic pastry cream, which I'm going to make here. Um, and then we're going to make the uh, buns as well. Um, the buns are going to take a little bit of time to proof. Um, so that's going to, uh, this, is, this is definitely not something that you can just sort of whip together at the last minute. All right, so um, what I have here is I've got um, one and two thirds cup of milk. I've got four egg yolks uh, in this bowl. I've got a quarter cup of granulated sugar. I've got one tablespoon of cornstarch, and I have um, a about a half of a teaspoon, or excuse me, a, a, about a teaspoon of vanilla bean paste. So I'm using vanilla bean paste here instead of just vanilla extract. I'm also going to add a little bit of cardamom to the pastry cream itself because I really do like that flavor. So I'm going to add in about um, <clears throat> probably about a half a teaspoon or so. So, um, let me, uh, I'm going to get started here. Again, this is a very standard pastry cream recipe. Um, so I'm just going to put this together. I'm going to put it on my little tray here and then let it chill. And while it's cooling, I'm going to put my, um, bread together. All right. So I'll meet you back here in just a second. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put the pastry cream together here. Um, on my pot, I have, um, my milk and it is steaming up and I'm going to add in my vanilla bean paste to that. So I'm just kind of scorching it just a little bit just to kind of heat it up. Steam it. There we go. All right, while that's heating up in my um, bowl here, I've got my egg yolks. I'm going to add in my sugar. And then I'm also going to add in my cornstarch and the half a teaspoon of um, cardamom, ground cardamom. Okay, I'm going to mix this up. And I'm also going to add in just a tiny little pinch of salt. Alright, so meanwhile, my milk is heating up nicely. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to temper the egg yolks by adding in just a little bit of that boiling milk mixture to get my egg yolks nice and heated. And then I'll add in a little bit gradually, bit by bit, and then add it back to the pot. So I'm going to turn the heat up here. I'm seeing some nice light bubbles. All right. It smells really good. It's nice and vanilla y. Okay. All right. So I've got my bubbles there. So I'm going to go ahead and add in. Just about a little ladle full. I'm a big fan of pastry cream. I mean, it's basically just 
pudding or like this is also like ice cream base like a custard so it's really delicious i'm having the actual recipe for the buns themselves but i am making the full amount of pastry cream because i know that i'm going to really want to eat all of it all right so i've got about half of my milk mixture in here and so it's gently warm the egg yolks I'm going to go ahead and kind of stir in the rest. Okay. And then we are going to bring this back into the pan. Okay. And then I'm going to heat this up until it comes up to a nice boil, stirring it constantly because I don't want my um, pastry cream to burn on the bottom. And the tempering of the egg yolks is important because we don't want to get the little curds of egg. But if that does happen, I've been known to just put an immersion blender in here and smooth it up. Okay, so I'm going to turn the heat up. The um, egg yolks themselves are going to thicken the mixture, but the um, cornstarch is really going to, to thicken it as well. All right, there we go. It's already, it's already nice and thick. Constantly moving. There we go. That's perfect. All right. All right. So this looks beautiful. It's nice and creamy and thick. Okay. So easy. It's like super easy. All right. So I'm just going to make sure that it's all mixed up. And then I'm going to pour it onto my tray. All right, and then I'm going to top this with some plastic wrap, and I'm going to put it right on top of the pastry cream so that it doesn't develop a skin. I'm going to put it in the fridge and let it cool, and then I will see you back here in just a minute while we put together the bread portion. All right, so I have the pastry cream um, chilling in the fridge. We're going to go ahead and move on to the bread portion next. So like I mentioned before, I am having this recipe because I didn't want a ton of little buns. I don't actually even know how many of this makes. It doesn't, didn't say, so we'll find that out together. Um, but I did have it. So here I have one cup of warm water. I've got half of a packet of dry yeast, which is about um, 0.32 ounces. Uh, sorry, 0.15 ounces. Um, and then I've got uh, one and a quarter ounces of sugar. I've taken a little bit of the sugar and sprinkled it in with my water here because I'm about to bloom my yeast in there. I've got one and a quarter ounces of butter. Um, I have 16 ounces of plain flour. And then in my um, spices here, I've got three quarters of a teaspoon of cardamom. I have a quarter teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon as well. And then this also does uh, require half of an egg. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I've got my sugar in there. My water is warm but not super hot. So I'm going to go ahead and bloom my yeast in here. So I'm just going to sprinkle this in. All right. I'm going to let that hang out and I'm going to let that sit. I'm going to sift my flour and my... Um, spices together. We're going to do that right on a piece of parchment here.
sugar is going in now. Mix. All right, so fast forward a couple minutes and my um, yeast has proofed just a little bit. It's nice and foamy. So to that, I'm going to carefully add in my butter. All right, we're gonna get that into my flour here. And I'm also gonna add in this half an egg. All right, we're gonna get this yeast and this dough together here. Switch to my spatula. Okay, so uh, the dough is now nice and soft. It's pretty smooth, looks pretty good. Uh, good amount of water, good amount of um, flour there. Um, I was concerned that it was gonna be a little wet, but it actually turned out okay. So I'm gonna take my dough, I'm gonna put it in an oiled bowl, and I'm gonna cover it with plastic wrap. We're gonna let this guy rise for about 45 minutes to an hour. And then after that, we'll cut them into pieces and then let those little, those little guys rise again. All right, I will see you guys in about an hour. All right, everybody, so we are back about an hour later. Truth be told, it was a little bit over an hour because I got distracted. Um, but this looks gorgeous, it's risen quite a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of punch it down a little bit. And then I'm going to take this out onto my surface. And then we are supposed to cut these into five ounce portions. So I'm going to eyeball this to see about half. Okay, that's about five ounces. So if this guy is about five ounces, I'm very excited to find out how many I can get from this because the recipe did not say. Looks like one, two, three, four, five, five. Okay, so the full recipe would do about 10. We have five here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shape my little balls into buns. I'm gonna put them on a sprayed baking tray.
And then these will need to rise for an additional 30 minutes. So I'm just kind of folding under to make a nice bun. I want it to be pretty high and tight so that it can be filled with the filling. There we go. There's one. All right, so I've got all of my my little buns there. They look really nice. I'm going to cover them with some plastic wrap. We'll let them rise for another 30 minutes, and then we will bake them off at 375. So 335 degrees until they are nice and golden. Okay, so the second proof is done. They grew quite a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of reform them a little bit to make them a little bit smaller. Just kind of fold them under. I've got a little egg wash here. It's just that leftover half of the egg that I have from putting it in the dough. And then I'm going to go ahead and paint the top. Okay, give these a little, little wash. This actually was a very inexpensive dish to make. A lot less expensive than ordering them. I hope they taste okay. I mean, you never know. They look nice. All right, then they're going to go right into the oven, about 10 to 12 minutes. Check on these guys and see how they turn out. All right, so we are back. It's been a bit. The bread is done. It is cooled down. Um, they are very large, a lot larger than I expected. I made five. I probably should have made six and done them a little bit smaller. Um, I did also, I ate one, so I just wanted to test to make sure they were okay, so I did eat one, and they are delicious. Um, so they are cooled down right here. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make the glaze that goes on top. So here I've got about three quarters of a cup of um, powdered sugar, and I'm just going to add in a little bit of water just to get it into a nice glaze. In my other bowl, I have, um, so right in here, I've got um, some toasted coconut, and looking at the pictures, it looks like a mix of toasted coconut and regular. So I did about, um, I would say a quarter of a cup of toasted coconut, and then a quarter of a cup of um, plain coconut, untoasted. Um, they are the sweetened flakes. And then the other thing that I noticed about the picture, too, is they don't have the long strands that are like the whole shreds of coconut. They look a little bit smaller. So I took the mixture and I kind of just chopped it up a little bit so that they're a little bit smaller. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and mix up this glaze. And then before I dip them, I'm going to take and I'm going to poke a hole in the bottom. That is where my uh, cream filling is going to go. Take a little knife here. All right, and then just to make sure the cream kind of goes all the way around, I'm going to kind of like form a little hole inside so that it doesn't just kind of stick in there. So this bread, my bread came out um, a little on the dense side, I would say. Not terribly dense. It's not like a brick or anything, but it is pretty dense. Um, I, you know, I haven't had one of these um, for a while. It's been 
gosh, a couple of years. Uh, so I don't exactly remember what it tasted like. It was a little bit lighter, I would say. So I'm not sure if maybe it was something in the proofing or what that was, but it still tastes okay. All right, so I've got my holes there. Um, so those are gonna be ready for the cream. So I'm gonna take my glaze. It's got the right consistency. I'm going to dip it in. And it's not, I don't want it to be too thick. I'm going to let it kind of drizzle off. And then I'm gonna let the icing kind of firm up and harden before I put the cream filling in. out. I'm going to let that icing firm up and harden up just a bit before I go in to add my cream. Okay, all right. So here we are with the final buns. So these came out really nice. They are um, topped with the sugar glaze and the toasted coconut. Um, they look really lovely. Uh, the, filling, the, the glaze is hardened so they're nice and solid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um, pastry cream here, which is delicious. It's so nice. The texture is perfect. I'm going to get it into my piping bag. All right. I'm not going to fill it all the way because I'm actually going to only fill one of these guys right now. I'm going to squeeze this down. Always ends with a little, or they all have like a little little pipe on top. Alright, so there is the finished product. I'm gonna go ahead and cut into this one. Alright, take a look at that. Got the cream on the other side. Alright. I'm gonna cut into this guy. So he's got the cream on the inside, and then the coconut on the outside. Let's just take a little bite. The bread is just very lightly sweet, but all the other components add plenty of sweetness to it, so it really makes it taste like a dessert. Like I said, my bread is a little dense. I might have over kneaded it just a little bit. So, but otherwise, it tastes really good. So, that is our um, school bread today from Epcot, since very few people can get there right now. So, I hope you enjoyed this recipe, you guys. Um, please like and comment down below. Um, let me know if there are any other Disney snacks that you would like to see, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.